Hi everyone, my name is Kincaid Day. I'm the Director of Product Management here at CloudWords, and today I'll be bringing you through a brief demo of our CloudWords for Uber Flip experience. CloudWords is a localization or globalization automation platform that easily allows marketers to deliver their content at speed and scale, and all the while eliminating the need for copy and paste so we're also used to when it comes to the translation or localization process. In order to start an Uberflip, Uberflip project, the only thing you need to do is select Start New, Start New Project, and then go ahead and enter in some basic metadata. So I'll call this Demo, select a department, the intended use, and then select Next. We'll then have a Source Materials tab where we can select Uberflip as an available option. And you can see that I have a hub as well as some streams that we'll be loading in. As an example, here in Uberflip, when I go to my hubs, I have CloudWords Resources and CloudWords Partner Resource Center. You can see those correlate. So now if I expand, what's going to happen is I'll see my various streams and then I can find my associated blog content. From here, I'll go ahead and select a sample blog post. There's no restriction on the number of blog posts that you'd like to select, so I'll just go ahead and select the one for now. Hit continue. I'm then going to configure my language. English US is my source. And then let's go ahead and select German as my target translation today. Once you select the language, you'll have the opportunity to map that deliverable, the translated blog post, to an associated hub, as well as a stream. So you can see I have a sample German stream here. I'm going to then hit next. It's gonna allow me to select a translation vendor. When selecting a translation vendor, we do allow you to track the bids or the quotes within the platform. So go ahead and select the vendor if you'd like to receive a bid or a quote, then as well as the due dates for when you'd like that bid or quote to be delivered, as well as when you want the translations to be delivered. We also have some PO tracking functionality, but I won't be going through that today. Last step in the process is to configure your workflow. Workflow is where work actually happens. Vendor work is when the translations occur, and then you'll have the opportunity to see your content fully in context once the translations are delivered. Select the workflow. I can see that I have a due date for the vendor. I'm then going to select a user for the review task, and then a due date for when I need the reviewer to complete the review task. I'm then gonna scroll down, hit finish and request bids, and accept. At this point, your content has been submitted to the LSP where they're going to be able to analyze your source files and begin translating your content. To show you an example, I've submitted a project a little bit earlier just for the sake of time. If I go to the source files, you'll see that we have our source content in the form of an XLIF that's been provided to your vendor. But most importantly, we'll also provide the translation memory, style guides, and glossaries as well. Once those translations are delivered, we'll then go ahead and render an in-context preview, which you can see here. This is the content. It mimics exactly what you would see in Uberflip. The great thing is to engage with this content, all you have to do is simply right click, hit edit translation, then brings up the content down below. And if I go ahead and remove a word or a phrase, actually let me move this down just for a brief moment so you can see this being updated in real time. There we go. You can actually see that the edits are being made in real time. When I hit submit, we're gonna have the revision history. We're gonna see that the updates have been saved and all that reviewer needs to do is then simply come to the actions and hit approve. Once the asset has been approved, we go back into Uberflip. And if I navigate to my sample German stream here, we're gonna see that I have a fully translated blog post. As an example, let's go ahead and select edit item, let it load, and there you go. There's a fully translated asset. Thanks for joining me today. Please reach out if you have any question. Thanks again.